basically if you accidentally select DX12 in Borderlands 3 in the advanced graphics options, the game won't load and there's no way to get back in there and change it because it won't even load to the option screen. Uh, I'll show you how to fix it. So you buy Borderlands 3, right? And you make the crucial mistake like me and you're like, oh cool, I'm in my, my visual options here. Uh, what's the cool stuff they have here? Nice, cool, let's go to advanced, see what they have here. Oh, what's this? Graphics API. Let's put on DX12. It says it's in beta. Must restart. Okay, I can get with that. Let's restart. Let's uh, let's do this, shall we? We're now starting, but restarting Borderlands Three in DX12, and you'll notice that it will just get stuck here forever. It will not get past the screen. I've sat here for a long time trying. Uh, so there's some major bug with DX12. Uh, the specs on my PC is an i9-9900K uh, paired with a RTX 2080 Ti. Uh, if you try to restart it again or run a repair on Epic, it will not do anything. So there's no way to get back to the options to uh, set it back to DX11. If you press F1 or try to go to any options, nothing happens. You literally have to Alt F4 or Control Alt Delete and close the task. It's the only way to get out of there. All right, so I closed all the way out of Borderlands 3. If you go to your documents, uh, your My Documents and your computer, and then go to My Games, Borderlands 3, you'll find a saved folder. And then you'll find a config inside there, Windows No Editor. You're gonna find Game User Settings, dot I and I. You're gonna edit that. Pull it up here. And you look down, line 91 here. It says Preferred Graphics API, DX12. Turn that to DX11. Save the file, close, and then launch Borderlands 3. This will save you from having to reinstall, which I don't even know if it fixes, Borderlands 3 if you accidentally select DX12. And we're in the game. Thanks for watching.